Sometimes the protagonist of a game doesn't need to be more than just a furball. And that was pretty much the case with today's protagonist, Dweep. Dweep is a happy, bouncy, purple fuzzball, kind of reminding me of the Karibo from Yu-Gi-Oh! except after losing his hands in a children's card game accident and falling into a bucket of purple dye. Dweep is a very simple puzzle game where your goal is to lead Dweep to his little Dweepling children through mazes filled with hazards. You'll be collecting items, strategically placing them on the level and manipulating your environment. And that's pretty much it in a nutshell. I found it back in the day on some random shareware compilation CD and played I believe the first 10 levels of the game, but I always wanted more. And since it's pretty much abandonware now, it's the perfect time to get in on that puzzle solving, ooh yeah. Dweep plays like a mixture of two different games to me. On one hand there's the element of Rube Goldberg style of games where you can place items at will and set chains of reactions into motion. But on the other hand there's the element of a player character that mixes up that formula, as his position and timing is crucial to solving the puzzle. Dweep is a cute and fluffy and just look at him, he's so adorable. You, you wouldn't want no harm for him. Right? But one single miscalculation in your plan and he's bits and pieces of dust. Not frozen solid, or floating forever, or just stuck until you hit that reset button. And you'll be resetting the stage and trying over and over quite a lot in this one. Dweep starts off very simple but manages to ramp up difficulty quite fast as the original base game had 30 levels only. The Gold Edition has two more expansions and quite a lot of fan-made ones. They start off easy with just lasers and mirrors to reflect such lasers but then the game starts throwing in wrenches, bombs, water buckets, torches and various floor panels and whatnot. But since the levels are limited to a fixed size grid there's only so much you can do to make the puzzle complex. Still, Dweep's levels are quite challenging with quite a high learning curve. That doesn't mean it's overwhelmingly difficult because the amount of actions you can make at each step of the puzzle are limited, so it's a little bit of a trial and error kind of situation. Personally, every time I restarted the level I always felt like I got something right with each try, so even though you restart the game a lot it still gives you a feeling of progression. And that brings me to one thing I don't like about this game, the repetition. There's no way to save mid-level or to undo the few last moves, meaning that if you screw up somewhere near the end of the puzzle you'll have to redo it entirely, even though you already figure out most of it. It's just a repetitive and time-consuming action as Dweep's speed isn't too high. He sure does like to take his time moving from point A to point B. Thankfully, all puzzles are unlocked from the beginning, meaning that you can just skip the ones that are giving you a hard time and come back when you feel like trying again. And if you run out of puzzles, you can always design your own since the game comes with a simple to use level editor. All this is accompanied by a simple but effective art style and bumbly midi tunes in the background which work quite nice with the theme of death at every corner as you place lasers, rotate elements, blow things up, freeze and unfreeze our protagonist, smash stuff and float among other things. And that's pretty much it. There's not a lot to dweep, but it's just one of the games I remember having a lot of fun with and since I've mentioned it in one of my videos people seem to have forgotten what it was called and are now experiencing it once again. And if you have some spare free time, why not try it out yourself? My name is Binti RG and I hope you enjoyed this little quick sort of introduction to, to a title that I didn't really want to criticize much for. It's a very simple game, there's not a lot of to talk about, but I wanted to showcase it anyway and hope you're gonna have a fun time. See ya!